Hello and welcome to Shars Craft Haven. Uh, today we're going to be doing a show and tell of the materials that I've been using the last year that I've owned the LaserBox Pro. So show, tell, tips, sourcing, and settings for materials. Um, first of all, all of these settings are with the color block mode disabled. Um, test your test your settings with your own machine um, using a uh, 24 square millimeter square. Um, so here we go. Um, first off, uh, I have basswood. This is the default um, wood that comes with the laser. Um, you can see that um, this is engraved. Um, and this I've actually left the masking on. It comes with masking so you can uh, you can engrave through that or cut through that and then um, do some painting and take that off. So this is scoring and then engraving. All these settings will be in the show notes. So I'm going to save them, but if you want to make your own custom settings, that will be there. So this is three millimeter basswood. It comes pre-masked. The source is X-Tool. Um, the cut, it's 95 power, 20 speed, one pass. Engraving is 50 power, 80 speed, one pass. Um, scoring, which is using a cut path line, um, but a low power, high speed is 20 power, 80 speed, and one pass. Um, three millimeter Baltic birch. That is my go-to material. Um, this is what I do almost all of my things with. Um, the source is Woodpecker Crafts. I got an affiliate link in the show notes. Um, the cut power is 25. The speed is 5. Um, one pass. This is really a slow cut, um, but there's no surface charring. Um, if your laser is dirty, you might need to add um, 10 to the power, so 35 power to get still a single pass. Um, by far, this is my favorite material to work with. It's light. Um, it's got a beautiful grain. Um, the engraved settings, um, 60 power, 80 speed, one pass. Um, again, you can vary that depending on what you're looking for as far as depth and color. And the scoring, again, using a cut path line is 30 power, 80 speed, one pass. Uh, six millimeter Baltic birch. Um, again, unmasked, the source is also woodpeckercrafts.com, affiliate link in the show notes. Um, cut power uh, is 90, 10 speed, two passes, engraving 50 power, 80 speed, one pass, scoring uh, is similar to last one, 20 power, 80 speed, one pass. Um, dry erase, this is probably my new favorite material. It's a bit stinky when you do it. You want to make sure that you're definitely um, masking and doing it the uh, dry erase side up. Um, it also has a chalkboard side. Um, this is a thinner version. Home Depot has a thicker version that I don't like as much. This one is from Lowe's. Link in the description. Um, I always mask it. Um, there's still a bit of cleanup to be done. I use isopropyl alcohol. Um, and I get that off and you can make all sorts of great pieces. Um, so the settings for cutting, uh, 80 power, seven speed, one pass, and then I don't recommend engraving it. Um, and then scoring the little puppy, um, again, using that, um, cut, cut path line, but 25 power, 85 speed, one pass. Um, and you can do that with masking or without masking. Acrylics. I love doing acrylic inlay. Um, a couple of different sources that I have it from, but things to know about acrylic in general, um, it stinks a lot when it's cut. Uh, produces a lot of dust when you're engraving, so there's going to be a lot of cleanup. Make sure you have maximum ventilation going on. Um, I even let the material, if I'm doing a lot of cutting, sit in there a little bit, make sure the fumes can dissipate before I take it out. Um, make sure you're sourcing cast acrylic. 
as opposed to extruded, cast acrylic is what you want to be um, getting. Uh, the best suppliers have paper masking, um, which you can leave on when you're cutting and you can remove the top layer when you're engraving. Um, so the sources I have here, um, these are Chotac. Um, so this is the red frosted. You can see some of the engraving. A little butterfly. Um, I did a few different, I did this in color block, but a few different depths using different, um, different settings. Nice little coaster. Um, they also, so here's, uh, one of their green acrylics. Again, it's got that plastic backing that really you want to remove so it doesn't melt. Um, two-tone, um, quasi see-through. Um, you can see what the engraving looks like on that. Uh, it has the plastic backing again. Um, a mirror, plain mirror acrylic from Trotec. Uh, another gray. Um, it's sort of two-tone. I couldn't quite get the engraving to turn out on that. And then just plain clear with, again, the plastic backing. Um, so the settings for that, uh, 100 power, 7 speed, 1 pass, engraving, um, depending on the thickness you want, between 40 and 60 power, uh, speed between 60 and 80, um, and then number of passes if you're wanting to go really deep, you can add some passes. So for a pretty deep or moderately deep, 60 power, 60 speed, 2 passes will get you that. Uh, so other acrylic, um, I love CMS acrylics. They are really awesome, um, especially their blemished section. I'm just going to show quickly a bunch of the different colors. You can see that it's got, um, that paper backing, which is awesome. So some yellows, oranges. I love this lavender. It's awesome. Ivory brown, purple, red, green, and then they have some specialty ones. I really love this electric blue mirror acrylic. And then this is my daughter's favorite. <laughs> She's for a gray glitter. Um, they also have six millimeter acrylic. Um, again, CMS acrylics. Um, that cut is 100 power, 7 speed, 2 passes. Again, the same variable engraving. Uh, you could do more passes if you wanted a really deep one. Um, I tend to go around 60-60 with one pass. Um, so you can see the, the depths of those. And then here, I did this with masking. So I engraved through the masking and then did some light painting and then removed the masking to get a nice pattern. Uh, the only other um, acrylic supplier that I know of um, or that I've had experience with is Queen City Polymers. Um, they're local to the Dayton, Cincinnati area. So I got a clear from them. It's got the nice paper backing. And then here, I did uh, a test of different engraving settings and then filled them in with a fine tip Sharpie, sort of simulating alcohol ink, how that would show up. All right, so now we're on to uh, making stamps. This is probably my new favorite thing. Um, I bought a year ago, Black Friday, some stamp material. I had forgotten I got it on sale, so I was really nervous about using it because um, it was really expensive. And then I saw someone in the Facebook community had posted in our um, community settings a setting for laser bowl rubber. And so I decided to try it out and I'm super happy with the results. So here is a stamp. Um, this is actually a two part stamp. Um, I, Sun's elementary school logo. So you do one in one color and one in the other. The handles are made out of um, 
three millimeter and six millimeter Baltic birch. You can see those. And the settings for that um, is 100 power, 10 speed, two passes um, for cutting. And then for engraving, it's 100 power, 40 speed, three passes. Um, if you cut too close to the edge of the material you're cutting out of, there can be some melting and discoloration. So make sure you get in a little bit from the edge. Um, and the other thing to also be careful of um, on one of these, I didn't line up my cut line exactly. And so there is a little area that I had to manually cut off, which is a pain. So you might want to have extra engraving um, to have a bleed um, so that so that it turns out without any extra work. But these work incredibly well. I'm super excited. I've made a few. It takes fine detail too. So it's really awesome. Highly recommend it. Um, next is 1.5 millimeter EVA foam. Um, so for Halloween this year, we made a mask for my son. This is actually two thicknesses. It's got some masking tape. He wanted to be his own superhero. Um, but it's really pliable. Um, I shaped this one just using hot glue to warm it up in between the layers. And we just used some, <laughs> some cheap um, glasses. I think they came with a Happy Meal or something um, to make a mask. I've also used it uh, for, um, for all sorts of other things, including a jellyfish that I made. So the source for this is Amazon. Um, the cut. The cut is 40 power, 100 speed. Um, you might need to lower the speed depending on your shape. Um, if it's fine detail, you want to make sure that it's, um, you know, you might want to lower, lower the power speed. If it's going too fast, the belts are going to get out, get out of whack. Um, but you want it to um, not melt the material. So if you're doing something that's super fine, um, you you really want to lower the power then and keep it moving so it doesn't melt those edges. Uh, engraving, super tricky, um, but I found 10 power, 90 speed, one pass. Um, got me some text pretty legibly um, because it's white foam. I then had to go back and, and uh, fill that in with some color. Um, but it, it's challenging. It took me a while to figure that out. If you're doing something really fine, um, you run the risk of melting the material. So your results may vary for engraving. Um, and then the last um, material I want to talk about is mylar. Um, I've used four millimeter and I think four mil and I think 11 mil um, mylar. I got it off of Amazon. Um, cutting varies greatly <laughs> depending on the shape of your object that you're going to be cutting out. There's straight lines and letters. Um, you can use a pretty high speed. Um, I would not do more than two passes um, because you're going to get melting and not have the sharp edges. Um, but you're going to have to do <laughs> you're going to have to do a bit of work to try and figure out those settings. Um, and then you want to make sure that it's set to paper thickness, so zero. Um, zero millimeters thick so that it has the right focus. And then engraving, I would not recommend engraving. Um, <laughs> it's just going to melt the material. So I hope, um, I hope this is all helpful. Um, ask any questions you have. Um, I have some other materials that I didn't mention today just because this was going to be a pretty long video to begin with, but um, check the community link in the description. I have an affiliate link if you want to buy any of the Exo products, Laserbox, D1. It helps the channel out a huge amount. The other affiliate links help out if you're going to get some wood. Um, as always, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and have fun lasering. <laughs>